Hello, today I will show you how to create a document scanner using OpenCV with Python. And let's start with a short plan of what we are going to do. First, we will prepare the video setup for our camera. Second, we will detect the document to scan. Next, we will warp our scan. After that, we will OCR our scan. In this part, we will process our scan to be black and white. Next, we will write the code to save the scan and OCR text. And we will finish by adding the scale to preview windows. For this project, I already created a document scanner folder and added an output folder where we are going to save our results. I also created a virtual environment and installed the necessary libraries. We will start by preparing the video setup. First, we need to import the OpenCV library. Next, we need to initiate the video capture. Most of the time your camera will be auto-detected using only zero and that should be enough. Next, let's define a new frame size, width and height. Let it be 800 pixels by 600 pixels. Next, we set these dimensions. First we set width and second height. After that, knowing that the video is just a bunch of images or frames, we need the while loop to go through them. We write while true and in it underscore comma frame equal to cap.read to read all our frames. I'm also adding one additional line to rotate a video by 180 degrees. Use this line if your camera is rotated 180 degrees like mine. Also, let's make a frames copy. We will be working with a copy. To show the frame, we write cv2.imshow and in brackets we add window name input and source of what we want to display frame. What's left is to add a couple of lines which will help us close the window and stop the code. We add if condition to close the window when the escape button is pressed. If the condition is true, it will break the loop. And we finish by destroying all windows. Let's move to the next part. In this part, we will detect the scan boundaries. So we need to detect the biggest boundary or contour. For that, we will need to process the input image to detect the contours. And after that, we will filter contours leaving only the biggest and the four corners. Let's start by importing the NumPy library as np for short. Next, let's create a function where we will process the input and find the biggest four corner contour. Let's name it scan detection and the input will be image. First, let's create a default document contour which size will be our frame size. If no control will be detected, we will use the frames boundaries. To create it, we will use a numpy array. In it, we define the top left corner, top right corner, bottom right corner and bottom left corner. Next, let's process the input image for control detection. First, let's convert it to grayscale. Next, let's blur it using Gaussian blur with kernel size 5x5. After that, we can use the threshold. We will combine two threshold types, binary and odds. Ok, now we can detect the contours. We use the find contours method, where we define the input image threshold, contour retrieval mode and contour approximation method. Next, we sort contours by the area in descending order. What's left is to find the biggest contour with four right corners. Let's start by defining the max area variable. The start value will be 0. Next, we look through the contours and calculate the contour area. We continue with the contours, which area is more than 1000. That way, we will filter the small contours. Next, we search for contours with only 4 corners. For that, we need to calculate contour per meter. Peri equal to cv2.arclength and in brackets we define the curve and that the curve is closed. Next, we approximate our contour to another shape. Approx equal to cv2.approxpoldp and in brackets we define the curve, approximation accuracy and if the curve is closed. Next, with the if statement, we search for max area and make sure that the contour has exactly 4 corners. We assign the biggest contour and max area to our variables, document contour and max area. 
We finish by drawing the biggest contour. Let's make it green. What's left is to call our function in a while loop. We write scan detection and define frame copy as input. Let's run the code. Ok, we can see that the default contour is shown as frame boundary. Let's bring the MTA4 format paper. The contour is detected and we can move the paper as we want. Let's move to the next part. In this part, as name suggests, we will warp our scan. For that, we will use a 4-point transformation model from the Immutils library. It's important. To warp our scan, we will need to be able to access the document contour. We have our default value and the value we found. Let's make this variable global. Ok, now we can move to the main while loop. Here we create a new variable warped and assign it to the 4-point transform. In brackets we define the input image frame copy and contour points we want to warp. We also need to reshape our contour. What's left is to add another imshow method to show the warped image. Let's run the code. Ok, you can see that it works. Let's change an empty page to fill it with text. It works too. Let's move to the next part where we will OCR the text. In this part we will OCR our warped image. For that we will use the PyTest React library. Let's import. Also we need to download the PyTest React executable file and define where it's located. In my case it is in the program files test react OCR folder. Next we move to the main while loop. Here we create a new variable OCR text and assign it to pytestrect.image to string. And in brackets we define the warped image. If we want to see the OCR text, we just need to print it. Let's run the code and see. Ok, we can see that the text is printing. We can extend the run window and see all text. It's looping because it is in the while loop. Ok, let's stop the code. Here we can see that the space is missing. If we check the other OCRs, we can see that not all are the same. Here it looks perfect. This is how easy and with very high precision you can OCR your scan. Let's comment the print statement and move to the next part. In this part, we will process our scan to look black and white. Let's create the image processing function, we will process the scan. We will make our scan look cleaner by giving a black and white look. Ok, so back to our function. First, let's convert our image to grayscale. Next, let's use the threshold with binary type. We'll split our gray image by 128 gray value to black and white. You can adjust the split point to your situation. And we return the threshold. What's left is to move to the main while loop. Here we create a new variable process, assign it to the image processing, and brackets add warped image and show process image using I'm show method. Let's run the code. Ok, we can see the processed image, but we can also see that there are some problems with the threshold near the scan borders. We can rid of it with cropping. Let's insert one line after the processed variable, name it the same process, and crop 10 pixels from the boundaries. With shape square bracket 0, we get the image height, and with 1, width. Then we crop 10 pixels from the start and the end. The same we do with other edges. Let's see now. Ok, it looks much better. In this part, we will save our scan image and OCR text. Because we are using our webcam to scan, the main code is running in the while loop. So if we want to save something, we need to have some trigger that will tell the program that we want to save just at the desired time. For that, let's use keyboard keys. Let's save scan when we press the S key and save OCR to a text file when we press the O key. Let's move to the end of the code. Ok. First, let's create a new function that will help us place a text in the center of the window. It will notice when we press the key and the process is gone. Let's name a new function center text. 
Inputs will be image and text. The image on which we will place the text and what text we want to place. To center the text, we need to know the text dimensions. Let's get text size using Siri 2, get text size. Here we add text, font, which we define later, font scale and thickness. Next, let's get text X and text Y coordinates. And we finish by putting the text at these coordinates. Ok, as I said before, now we can define the font. Let's move up and add the Hershey simplex font. Also, let's add a new variable count and make it equal to 0. We'll use it when naming scans and OCR texts. Let's move down to the main while loop. Here we need to add two more keys. First, we need to change some code to be able to add more keys. Let's create a pressed key variable and assign it to this. Now, pressed key is equal to 27 or escape key. And if it is true, the code breaks. Let's add new keys. First, let's add S key for saving the scan. So if the key is pressed, we write the scan image to the output folder and give a scan name plus we add a count, make it string and image format. Also, we increment the count for the next scan. Next, we add the text to notice when we pressed the key. Let's write scan saved, show it on the frame and add wait key of 500 milliseconds. It should be enough to see the blip of the text. Ok, next let's write the OCR text to a text file. This line is the same, we just add a new key O. Next we create a txt file. We place it in the same output folder, give a recognized name, plus we add account minus 1 to have the same number as scan, txt format and w mode, which will delete the old data from the file if there is something. Next, we move these lines to OCR the text and we finish by writing to a file and closing it. What's left is to show the text. Let's copy what we have before and change scan save to text save. And that's it. Let's run the code. If we press the S key, we see scan saved and if we press the O key, we see text saved. If we open our output folder, we can see these two files. Let's open the text file and image. Looks good. Let's add another page to scan. It's detected, we press S and O. Let's add the third page and do the same. Ok, we have all files saved in our output folder and naming is working. We can open them and see if everything is ok. Everything is fine. We practically finished the project, but we can do one more thing. Let's move to the next part. In this part, we will add a scale to preview windows. Ok, now we have a defined frame size of 800 by 600 pixels. From this size, the scan is cropped and saved. It's clear that the resolution is very low and we need to increase our frame's width and height to improve it. But the preview windows will become also bigger and will be hard to arrange them on the screen. To deal with this problem, we'll add a scale. That way, we'll be able to control the preview size. Let's start. First, let's go back to our output folder and see the scanned image size. Ok, it's very small. Let's delete all the files and go back to the code. Let's add a new variable scale and make it equal to 1. Next, let's move to the main while loop where all preview windows are. First, let's resize the input window. We scale width and height and make them integers. The same we do with the warped window, just now the dimensions we get using the shape method. Also, the same we do with processed window. Let's make it visible. And here we have two more frame windows, which we need to resize. Let's resize them. And that's it. Let's run the code and see if it works. Ok, we have no errors. Let's go back to the code and change the scale to 0 0.5 and lift the height to 1920 and 1080. Let's run now. Ok, preview windows of warped and processed. 
look almost the same size. Let's save the scan and see the image dimensions. Okay, we can see that the image size increased and the quality is better. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned how easily you can create a simple document scanner and also serve the text using the right libraries. Hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. You will find the code in the video description. If you liked the video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more Python videos.